What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name's Chris. That's Mike. What's up, Mikey? What's going on, Chris? New show, new show. New show, Nosferatu. We are AMC yeah. boys all the way, apparently, Mike. So we're just sticking uh, with AMC. Apparently, yes. Uh, Nosferatu, this is a brand new show, just started. Mm. We're on episode one, season one, episode one. It's called The Shortest Way. This, Mikey, if you didn't know, and anyone who's out there watching this, it was a book written by Joe Hill, Hill sorry, Joe, Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son. And, Very uh, yeah, yes. following in daddy's footsteps. This, yeah. uh, you know, so so before we get into this show, um, I, I'm, I did not read the book. My wife read the book. I didn't read okay. the book. Okay. Uh, so you have not read the book. So no. we are going in this, guys, we're, we're going into this fresh. So if if there's anything from the books that you want to, like, talk about in comments and stuff, that's fine. You know, uh, you know, no spoilers. <laughs> you can elaborate yeah. for us, but no spoilers because this is something that we're finally, like, going through, like, kind of. Cold. Kind of, yeah, cold yeah. and fresh. And, and, and I mean, we're liking it, right? I, I, I like it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Obviously, it's it's a new series. Um, so we're getting, uh, uh, you know, it's all new information, new characters and what Let's they're talk all about. about and, Let's do characters. Who do we, who do uh, we meet? I mean, we're starting off with um, with Daniel, who is, um, it's a sad opening, too. The mom and the mom's uh, getting a little frisky with some guy. And, oh, uh, the boy, this, right? That's the boy. Yeah. Daniel. Boy. We got Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm lonely. I'm I feel lonely. all alone. I'm and so she's like, lonely. ah, just go back in there so I can take care of business. Yeah. You know, um, so you kind of feel for this poor little guy. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it was it was definitely creepy. Um, and what's what's the name of the character? The, the, the guy who intrudes the intruder of the house. So you that, have so you have Charlie Manx, who is basically the vampire, the, the soul driver vampire. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then you have uh, 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 Mr. Ives. So, guys, if you don't okay. know. If you don't know before, I, I guess we should have started by saying this. If you don't know what it's, it's listen, it's in the description of the show and everything like that. Um, you know, Zachary Quinto plays a basically he's a vampire and he and he sucks the soul of children as he drives them to Christmas land. Christmas land is where he leaves the decimated souls of the of the children that he steals um, to remain young and immortal. You know what I mean? So we don't know all the details about why or how or who and whatever, but essentially yeah. that's what's happening. That's what we do see happen throughout this episode as he's driving Daniel, which, yeah. you know, so which, and then, and Mr. Ives is his accomplice who helps ab abduct the children, yeah. um, which is a really, you know, horrible, horrible thing to even say out loud, but you know, it, it's, it's fantasy and it's horrific, but that's what this is. Right. So yeah. Absolutely. So Mr. Ives is is we find out is a dude is a nurse practitioner right from like yeah I think he said he's like a nurse practitioner from Florida or something and he's been linked to uh, numerous missing children yeah, so right. obviously uh, you know um, Charlie and um, and and he and he have been uh, they've know, been doing work. the deed yeah. they've been they've been working but then but then we yeah. know as we know Mr. Ives doesn't last very long because he ends up. How about halfway through this episode or three quarters, he ends up going bye bye. So yeah, he's not a character we're going to talk much more about because he's gone. He be dead. Uh, but who, uh, who we will talk about? We'll get back to Charlie Manx in a little bit. Let's. The other yeah. characters we were introduced to were Victoria McQueen, who is the um, protagonist, I guess, of this of this whole series, and and mm -hmm. her parents. Uh, yes, we get to meet her parents, and you know we get to see. You know, I mean, a lot of things actually happen in this in this episode, but. Um, and a majority of, uh, about the McQueen family and the dysfunction right, yeah. that's going on. The you know the father's an alcoholic and and the mother is um, a struggling. Uh, I mean she they're 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 house cleaners. Uh, the mother's a house cleaner and it's just um, the dad was a, a musician. And, yeah, it's a big dynamic because obviously Vic is a big you know she's into the arts and she draws and she and it's like the mother just shoots down all the dreams. You can't do this. Yeah. You can't do that. After school, you got to just come with me and work with me. And right. obviously, she's not about that. So it's there's a big dynamic between the father and the mother and the relationship with Vic. It's volatile, and, um, very volatile. It's one thing about it now is I wanted to ask you, too. Now, do you think that with all the negativity that's going on in Vic's life, do you think that's a big reason? you think that's something like a homing device for for Charlie? Can he sense that kind of thing? Is that why no, the bridge appeared to her? Not yet. Not yet. Not – okay, so if you're – okay, so, so – it, it almost to me se seemed like that. Like he can sense, you know – no, he did though, but but after she okay, so so 
we find out that Victoria, that Vic has the ability. She she takes off, and for, for what we don't know yet, we don't know yet why, but she sees this bridge that was demolished by none other than her father. You know, yeah. back in the day, he helped demolish this bridge that was whatever. She sees this bridge. It turns out, it's it it's a to her it's like a, a portal. Yeah, she's able to find lost things by going through this portal. So the bridge does two things for Vic. It tells her where the thing is. And then it also can take her to that place. So we see that with where's my credit? Where's the credit card? It said Willa's. Yeah. Willa, yeah. Willa is her friend's, her friend, her uh, w- wealthy friend who the where, mother was cleaning she, the house. Clean, where we get yeah. to meet Vic. Where we meet Willa, the friend. Yeah. That's where the credit card is. She finds it later. Then the, later in the episode, towards the end, they're missing the father's watch. It says, "Oh, it's that aunt, uh, whatever Cassie or whatever it was." Right? She goes yeah. through the bridge and 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 it takes her to that place. It was where it was up by the lake or whatever, wherever they were yeah. for the summer, you know, hanging out. And yeah, so, so, so that's what we know. However, it takes a toll on her, on Vic. Um, her eye gets all bloodshot and it, she gets yeah. a bad headache. So we don't know, we don't know why or how or what, but now going back to what you said with, with Charlie Manx, with the, with the, the vampire dude. Yeah. Once she activates this power, he's able to see her somehow so so and yeah and, and, and well she was seeing him too she's oh, she was seeing flashes at the him. So, so almost it's almost like a voldemort but Harry in the Potter beginning, situation it, right it, it, it definitely is but in the beginning it was interesting because he heard on the radio for a second remember there was christmas music oh when she first goes to the, the bridge oh yeah. before she went through the portal it wasn't until she went through the portal portal that that it he got he got that oh yeah. look at this but it's like it's like like i said it's almost like a homing device thing like uh, so if he's someone gets close to that enough, energy, yeah. Yeah. So there's something very. So I don't know if it's a part of. Do they right, share? There, is there's it something sh- tragic. Yeah. What kind of connection there yeah, is? Right. Right. Um. Uh. Or is it just a matter of all right? There's this. There's this situation going on with this. With this girl, she's having some uh, difficult uh, life stuff, family stuff. The you know the parents' uh, situation. The you know, leaving Dad each other leaves and, for another for a younger yeah. woman. He's so done that, it before that's, and, yeah. that's another thing with you because I was telling you about this off camera and I thought it was kind of interesting. Obviously yeah. there's a, there's a scene where the parents are getting into a big fight and and uh, we see uh, what was the father's name? I forgot. Uh, whatever. Father McQueen, he's icing his hand and later on uh, you know, Vic's tell you know, sees the bruises on her mother's face at like the fireworks. Um Yeah. I yeah the Labor Day party or whatever it was. So it was weird because the show really pushed to me that there was a much stronger bond between father and daughter than mother and, and daughter. Well, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So for it was kind of strange when I saw, you know, the, the uh, father McQueen. His name uh, is Chris. So Chris, Chris, Chris and Linda hitting, are her parents. That's OK. Chris and Linda. So seeing Chris hitting Linda and then at the end after Vic collapses that, that last time. And her talking with her dad, she's like, you hit mom. Um, and he blames the vodka. And she's like, you can't do this anymore kind of thing. So for me, it's like. Did she uh, know? Does I don't she think know? she I don't think she knew. Is it an on? Well, remember on- earlier. Thing? Well, remember earlier. She's like, oh, mom's laying. What's mom doing? Laying down. She has to take me. And he hit her. Remember? And then so it's like. I, yeah. I thought I wrote down in my notes that she's oblivious to it. She's oblivious to what's really going on with her parents. But then later on. She's well, she sees it. So yeah. He, so she it's obviously not the first time. So she yeah, is oblivious. Know. But I, but I think it's weird. Because then it's Will's weird. mother was like, you know, if you know, there's a so they know. So this is an ongoing thing. I think we walked in on something that it's been an ongoing thing. The parents okay. fight. The mo- the father gets drunk. He hits the mom. The girl tries to pretend it doesn't happen. And the mom. Shits maybe on maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It's just what what made it this time that she really no- that she noticed the bruise that she would have never noticed before i think it's just i, I think don't it's know just i just a, thought it was a little weird because yeah. they, they made you really enjoy the bond between the two and now oh this guy's a dick because he beats his wife so uh, but i don't see but I see but, we'll but see that but that's an interesting dichotomy like you you're 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 a piece of shit to the mother of your child, yet you have a really good relationship yeah. with your with your child. But don't. But that's, then again, that's why that's why I don't think but, that she knew that the father has been hitting. Well, I, again, I think I think she was ignoring it. I think she okay. she's a very yeah. bright person. Of course, she's a very yeah. smart and bright person. Didn't she remind you? She reminded me of. Do you remember Uncle Buck? Yeah. She reminded me of the bitch daughter. 
<laughs> oh yeah. I don't know. Like I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know why they they. they I mean, it's I not. That's not her. I mean, she was no, obviously you know, not. Yeah. That was much, long, much a long time ago. She wasn't Uncle even Buck. born then. This this. Person, yeah. yeah. So it was. I mean, but it's yeah. It's been. It's been. Um. It's been pretty pretty cool uh, so far. Um. Let's talk about uh Maggie, which is the um friend obviously of the little boy daniel um that was abducted and she has this kind of she has a bag of she's a psychic right so she's right yeah how about when she reaches in on in there and her hand goes like way deeper than but it's it's cool to see where this kind of thing is coming because by the end of the episode vic is um uh, maggie's asking you know where can i find the wraith and um it says the brat and the father calls Chris calls Vic the brat right. uh, in that last scene with them together with the whole you got to stop beating mom, stop yeah. drinking kind of a thing. So it's got to see because we're going to I think in the coming attraction, I think they're going to meet up or something like that. I think yeah. um, Maggie and, and Vic are going to meet up. So it's going to be kind of cool if it's going to kind of be that um, that sleuthing kind of thing going on. Let's kind of crack this case ourselves. or. Uh, well, there's a is, lot. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot to this. There's yeah. a lot to this. I don't know if we're going to see the father again. We probably will. I think it'll be intermittent here and there. And yeah. yeah so now we need to figure out the connection. So so Manx yeah. has this map called Inscapes. Yeah, right. America. Or something, Inscapes, right? Inscapes of, America. of America. It's an Inscape map. Now, okay. So from what I gather and what I've read is that Vic will will meet many people from the Inscape. So many people, so she's going to meet other people with other powers and I think it's all connected. And I think whatever this power is, it manifests mm. in different people in different ways. Okay. And, for, and I, again, I, not having read the book or anything, you know, yeah. so, so again, I may be completely off base. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong and, and, and to set me on the right course. But, um, you know, and, and if anyone from this show is watching, feel free to let us know because that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, so, so we're going to be, she's going to be meeting people that help her and maybe don't help her. Um, but they all are part of this inscape and, and have, and have their own abilities or, or whatever. So it's going to be one of those shows where there's going to be a lot of, actually kind of reminds me a little bit of American Gods. Now I know that's not a show that you've watched, but I've read that book no. and I've been watching the show. So it's a similar thing where there's just like these, these other, these people in the world that have these abilities and powers. And I mean, they happen to be gods in that show, but it's kind of similar where the main character goes and meets with all these different people. So I'm interested to see what kind of characters they come up with and, and who yeah. shows up and and how that connection is i think i you know i've uh again i also read that this first season is going to be about two-thirds of the of the book so really so i oh, think okay. this will so mostly on be beyond book i'm not going to read this book at least not until after this first season i might i might you know take a gander later on after this first yeah. season um or not or maybe just go in fresh to this entire sh- series as long as it's on and we and we do this and you know, hopefully we continue to do this. Hopefully you guys like like us talking about this show, and hopefully it's a show that we'll continue doing. You know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely, uh, it, dude. It was definitely, you know, obviously this is something that Chris and I discussed, and what are we gonna do? You know, we still have a lot of other stuff going on in the works, and we're not forgetting about Badlands, so don't worry about any of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, when Chris kind of brought this to my attention, let's let's check out Nosferatu. Um, yeah, we both were like, all right, let's let's see let's see what happens. And it's actually it's actually was pretty interesting. I'm into this um, stuff. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, this reminds me of like almost maybe even like an uh, similar to like an HBO show. It's like yeah, you know, I feel like you don't get this type of stuff on network television. And the characters are pretty interesting. You know, I mean, I like them. I like yeah. Them. It was uh, not you know not bad acting, obviously at all, but. Um, yeah, uh, I mean the only other thing that I really wrote was to, to kind of wrap wrap it up. I don't know what you think about it. We talked about obviously the bridge being some kind of a portal, but are the things that that Vic is seeing when she goes through them true? Um, well, they are when, because I'm 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 going to stop you there because I, you had said you're not sure, but she went and got the watch and the guy handed her no, the watch. I know, I know, but still, but at the end she sees her her dad. Is that more of no, no, no? She because she was looking for him. I know. She I, don't, for I don't know. Maybe I just don't want to believe that the dad is because they made the they built the dad up to be like really cool. Not no. And see, just, but see, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you on that. He there was this dichotomy where he was really nice to his kid, but but really hated the, the mom. Like yeah, but I she said. was equally as an as much of right, a right. But listen, but, but don't forget, Mike. Mike, he's not that good of a guy. He's he 
he's a guy that resents his life. He loves his daughter, but what does he tell his daughter? Don't get married. Don't have kids. Yeah. So if yeah. you're giving your daughter, and that wasn't I to guess. be ironic, I mean, like it was, I like, guess. They, it, I it guess. was probably ironic when she was a kid, but now he like means it, and yeah. you can see, and he's obviously cheated before. Yeah. And she's like, that's well, not true. And she's like, it true. is. She's like, wake up. Yeah, so she's I don't like, wake know. Maybe up. she's oblivious, true. like you said. Maybe she's just not wanting to see the truth. That's maybe, really maybe, going on. I think you're, I think I mean, you too. I think you, yeah, <laughs> you're right I guess there with her. Kind of, yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I just liked the relationship that the father had with her. And, and I just, um, I don't know. And the only reason, I, another part of why I question it is because we know where this bridge is coming from. We know why she. We we well, know we who don't she, necessarily know well, where it's coming. No, from. but well, it obviously has to do with Charles Charlie, and he's not obviously a nice person. So could it be one of those kind of um, like almost like it where Pennywise makes them see a certain thing that might not necessarily be there? I don't know. That was just kind of um, something that I that I thought about at yeah. the end. I, I think I think it is. I think it's a true thing. All right. I, I guess we'll true. see. But it's we'll, an interesting we'll show. Nosferatu. It's a new series. It's a new series. Obviously. I'm loving. I like all the actors. Everyone, you know, uh, the the dude that plays the dad, um, Eben, right? His name. He's he was been oh, in Girls. He's been in Punisher. He was fantastic in Punisher. His microchip or micro. Really? Um, yeah, the mom, everyone, you know, uh, Ashley Cummings is, is the, is the girl who, uh, plays Vic and, you know, I just, I like everyone. I like everyone so far. And, and, uh, Zachary Quinto, I've been a fan of Zachary Quinto for a very long time. And, uh, you know, uh, it's good to see him doing something and, you know, we didn't get a whole lot of him. We got to see him mm -hmm. in that makeup, which is pretty cool. And, you know, and he's getting younger, he's getting you know? younger. Like <laughs> I said, he's taking the soul of the kid and yeah. stuff and, you know, and it's turning the kid into like a demon. Like that's interesting. As as you yeah. suck the, the like the youth out of him, it turns them yeah. into like a little wretch. So I'm curious yeah. to see Christmas Land when we finally get there. Just the concept yeah. is very interesting. So, uh, but yeah, so good stuff. I'm 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 glad we're, I'm glad this is on TV. Let's you know let's uh let's let's see where it goes. You know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right. Uh all right, guys. Yeah, check us out. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought of this. Are you watching this show? Um, are you a fan of the books? <laughs> Write in the comments section. Let us know what you're thinking. Book, right? uh, what, what's that, one book? I think it's only one book. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know that it said it, like I said earlier, uh, in the in the opening uh, screen. So anyway, let us know what you guys are thinking about Nosferatu. It's a cool show. We're interested uh, in it, and we're hoping that uh, it, it becomes a, a great one for AMC. Uh, check us out at Third Person at all the social medias. Of course, you can have a listen to this. You can watch this on iTunes as well. Type in thirdpersonpod.com if for some reason you can't find us anywhere uh, other than just Google searches. Yeah, but we're there. Us. Yes, we're all over the place, guys. So thanks again uh, for all the support. Yep, and we'll see you on the next episode for Nosferatu. Yeah, peace. peace.